Hi, this is Russell from Low Fruit Solutions, and today I'm going to be talking about blogging in Shopify, um, and uh, you know specifically why blogging is important to, uh, as a, a store owner, and then the fundamentals or the, the the standard practices that you can do to set up your blog so that uh, you know you can set yourself up for success in the future. Um, so on to the first question: Why blogging is important? I'll tell you why blogging is important. Essentially, there are two audience types that you're appealing to with your content, right? Your blogs, etc. One are humans, and two are robots, right? Now, for the f if you if you think about that at all times when you're managing your content, then you'll do fine. Looking at the first group, if you will, humans. Now, there are lots of competition. There's lots of competition out in the internet. In e-commerce, a lot of people selling the same products at you know roughly the same price, or even at diff you know, slightly different price differentiation. So, what makes you stand out? What makes you different to the person next to you? Uh, essentially, it's your story, your brand identity, that will get you over the line over a competitor with the same price. And blogging enables you to project to that audience your story. Uh, and uh, you know to base, basically strengthen your brand identity, uh, provide subject matter expertise, uh, and uh, you know a, a view of authority, which in turn creates trust, and trust is something our buyers want from us. So, having blogs for people is a very very good idea. Now, the other portion of the audience are search engines. Right now, search engines like blogs too, and the, not because they enjoy reading them, but because the content all adds into the algorithm that determines where you fit in search engine rankings for specific keywords. Right, and uh, so by creating blogs, you you effectively extend your content because if you create a, a product, and that product A has you know uh, x amount of in its of words in its description images and so forth that's the end of it you've created that product now how do you extend that how do you ext extend your authoritativeness or your your uh, keyword density without just creating longer descriptions well you would create you know you could build blogs associated to that subject you know to to provide that so search engines when they look at you the number of keyword density um, and content type and uh, you know um, it, it'll enhance your actual store's weight or gravitas so investing in content right now I've written this down here investing in content is an investment in long-term traffic creation and retention so by creating content you gather more traffic via search engines because you know um, the weight of it adds to your overall SEO and by doing that you draw more people to your store to your site and then that content assuming it's of a you know a good quality will also then ensure there is longer term retention and ultimately loyalty which should in turn lead to greater revenue down the track so content is king there's no doubt about it so let's go over and have a look at what a blog looks like in Shopify. So here's my demo store. Now to find blogs you would look into the online store here and you'll see it's uh, aptly named blog posts which is a bit of an anomaly to some degree right because in Shopify um, you have blogs which are an, in essence a collection of articles that's how it's defined on the back end but you know they term them posts here. Uh, now what you want to do before you do anything, so I've got a number of, you can see a number of blog posts slash articles here, is if you go to manage blogs, this is where you'll see your your actual collection of articles, right, the name of it. Now, all new stores get one called news, which is a bit, again, a bit generic, a bit nothing. Uh, what you want to do is go into this manage blogs, and you want to click on it, Right, and you probably want it. The first thing you want to do is change the title. Now, why would you do that? Well, let's go back to the store here, the demo store, and scroll down to one of these articles, the health benefits of pineapples. And what you're going to see in the URL is you're going to see your store, and then you're going to see blogs, and then you're going to see this. Now, having this as news, 
that doesn't really add much to your to your SEO at all, right? So you can get a little gain there straight away by actually having something that's relative to what you're trying to to sell or project within that path, right? It'll add weight to it. So having news there is a it's a it's a, it's a bit too generic. I would change it to something that's more relative. Now, when you do change it, besides changing the title here, what you also need to do is also click on this button here. You go Edit SEO. The page title will come from default from the, the blog name, but you should also update this meta description because this is what is going to show in, in the search engines if people are actually, your blog comes up in that list. And you kind of, is it also another um, area where you can add a little bit of weighting into your into your content by making sure you project the right number of keywords or phrases etc right uh, and there's plenty of articles around SEO on that so um, I've just added to uh, the fact that it's a definitive guide to fresh best and fresh fruit uh, a review of the best fruit tropical fruit organic fruit and seasonal fruits right so you've got a 160 character limit you shouldn't really extend it you should just try to keep this short and poignant but you know so that it, people understand what they're looking at to the right here is how you handle comments. Now this is via Shopify's native comment system. If you are using uh, an alternative, you know, like a third party, then you wouldn't really care about how this is done. Uh, in this case, you know, it depends. I actually think it's it's worthwhile having commentary enabled because you do want people to interact with you. When people interact with your content, they're more engaged. There's no doubt about it, right? So having comments are disabled, fine. That's if you know um, you won't get any trolling or anything like that. But you're limiting that interaction with, for people to ask questions, which a good blog should actually ask a question. But you may want to not go for the all. Just allow anyone to comment and publish because you'll probably end up with a lot of spam. So um, pending moderation is a is a good call. So let's go back. Right, let's go back. Now we're going to have a look at our articles within this blog. Oh, there we go. We're going to go back one more. Now we're going to look at that one I was just looking at. All right, so these are the key elements within your article. You've got your title. Again, you want to include something that's relative to the content and overall your store to a degree. So in this case, I put health benefits of pineapples because it's, you know, um, people may be interested in that specifically when searching so it's a direct keyword like a long keyword string um, we've got visibility if it's hidden it's not going to be visible to any of your readers and then what we've got here is some basic content I put an image in here now when you put images into your your blogs what you want to do is you want to put generally at reasonably high uh, high res uh, have them sized and then you want to set the image size here and there's a good reason for this. The reason is that when you upload an image into Shopify CDN, it will save it off into a number of different sizes so that it can call them back as they are required in the size that is required. So you can put a high res image there and then you can downsize it or choose whatever size you want, right? But it won't overburden um, the payload. In other words, it won't make your page slower by if you set the sizing correctly because it'll pull back the, the right one. Alt text is is also important. Uh, again, from a, if you're not using in my case here, I'm using it to display image captions. But if you think about it from the ro the robot audience, then it's relative because alt text, while hidden to the human, is not hidden to the robot. So your search engines will be crawling that and be looking at text strings. Now there's a whole bunch of articles on SEO for text for alt text strings, so I'm not going to go into that. Um, but in this case, I'm using it as a, an informative portion for the human audience as well. So I'm just going to cancel uh, the editing of that. Um, now, uh, just a, another quick pointer is that your images, when you upload them, should also include, but if, for the robot audience, some descriptive text. In, in this case, probably it's, you know the store name, um, article and uh, then you know something relative to the image itself so that um, again it adds more to the the robot view so I've got a couple of images in here now you you always want to put a, a featured image on your articles unless that's not fitting in with your your theme because ultimately we, uh, humans are visual creatures 
and we are drawn to to imagery probably more than text to to a large degree because we you know tell a great as I say a picture tells a story of a thousand words as opposed to the other way now featured image you also want to do the same piece you definitely want to add an image alt te text to your uh, to your featured image and uh, because then again it's good for the robotic audience which is good for search engines um, here we have author and this is the blog team so we can change all these things now what's also quite key is little side piece here tags now I've got you can see I've got a number of tags in here tags are a way of categorizing your article content so that um, if you display tags on your store someone who's interested in you know it's just read an article sees the tag called vitamin C click on vitamin C and then all other articles related to vitamin C will be displayed in their search um, likewise if you're using any sort of app or product that displays related articles um, in uh, that uses tags then having this filled in makes sense that, there's no real downside to having a lot of tags obviously just ensure they are meaningful to the content I think that's that's really the key at all times now SEO edit the web SEO you're not going to really have to do too much here it'll take uh, unless you don't like what the content is it'll take the top end of the uh, the, the article likewise of the title and the handle you can modify a little bit but you can only modify from the article name down so the rest of the URL remains the same right and that is the sort of core portion to your your image right you have a number sorry your image your article setup there's a number of little formatting options here for when you put the uh, actual content in uh, and if you need to um, see what the actual HTML looks like you can click on this and it'll show you because that's all it is really it's just an HTML um, blob of, or string if you will that then is reconstituted and displayed as as your as your blog article so let's have a look what uh, you know if, if you're appealing to the ho the human side right so we've talked a little bit about the robot side here is that very much that article as you can see the nice little high-res featured image here which is quite catching 